All right, the famous light wrap. A light wrap is really good of blending, you know, the green screen footage to uh, the background. And um, usually what you do is, uh, usually what I do is that I add a small, you know, a small layer, uh, really tight to, you know, the, uh, uh, the mask of the green screen footage. And I add a soft light, which brings... I think it brings everything slightly together. You darken the edges a bit if there's a dark background and if you brighten the background if it's a bright background. I think that's how soft light works, but we're gonna look into it. But uh, one thing I usually, or, or, or one thing I, that I uh, recently realized is that maybe I need two light wraps. One for, the, you know, closer to the edge and one a, li a little bit larger that's kind of... Uh, flows the background over uh, the the green screen footage. So that's what I'm going to show you today, how to uh, go into the axisymmetry compounds and just add another light wrap and uh, see what it does to the footage. So jumping in, uh, we have my test project. And that's been my test project for last week, which is the Counter-Strike, uh, I think it's DDoS2 map. Uh, which I ported uh, from the Counter-Strike game. Uh, but other than that, we have uh, some test green screen footage uh, and we have a mixed cam, which combines both the, both the virtual uh, camera movement and the uh, tracked camera movement. And, uh, but the process is the same for if you're using a virtual, use the virtual camera compound or a tracked camera compound. Uh, and what we want to achieve is to pretty much just duplicate these guys so i can have different blend modes for different uh, life reps at the same time uh, so let's just first look at what the, the light wrap does so if i enable it like so so it's kind of like a dodge and burn uh, and if i just overdo it so, so this is one part of the trick to get the comp to really sit well uh, and you can use different, like for example, a blend mode screen, which if used sub where, where fine, it can produce, just add a bit of a realism. And what I want to do is I, I kind of want to use this, uh, add like, do it like this, so I can blend in the colors from the background a bit and just use it slightly uh, together with the soft light and you see the soft light is too harsh like this but i, I kind of want to use the soft light kind of like this and maybe do go down with the strength a bit uh, and that's what we're gonna achieve so first and foremost you need to uh it's probably gonna be like this uh you need to unlock this uh, compound. So you right click it and unlock it. Now it's already unlocked for me, but uh, anyways. And then you go into the billboards because I'm, I'm doing this on the virtual camera module right now. And you right click light wrap cam one, go to source module, which gets you into this. Then you go back one up here. And then you have two light wrap compounds uh, and this is this is the compound where you control everything uh, and it just goes into the light wrap post or light wrap layer so these are two different depending on if you are on your camera settings and are using allow virtuals or not uh, i usually don't use allow virtuals so uh, Let's check which one of these guys it is. And one easy test to test this is just to grab the node and remove it. Okay, there it is. So this is the one we're going to work on today. But if you are using allow virtuals, then you need to work on this. Uh, do well, What I do here, you need to do on this as well. So let's uh, edit compound in place and go into the light wrap layer and this is how it's built up uh, and 
what we're gonna do is just duplicate this, but we want whatever this light wrap is doing to go into the next light wrap, so we can stack them on top of each other. But uh, to begin, we just copy that one, copy it, uh, and then we need to map the out of this into, I guess it's into the background. The foreground, because this is, because we need this video and we need this video, so I guess we're gonna do we're gonna do it like. Let's figure this out. Go, let's go that that one into the background, and do like this. So nothing happened over here, and we need to, also we need we we want to have these controls. So what we need to do is copy these controls as well and just duplicate it. And if we go, we need to attach all these things as well. So attach this one to, to our new control board. And we need to add this to our new light wrap, the blending mode, the blur, the depth, so many nodes, and the strength. And then we go into this one, and we can select all of these, and we want to add it to uh, to the billboard control board. So add it to billboards, and then this is our second light wrap then, like so. And for so on the first one we have the soft light. And that's that's working right now. And then we want to add the screen. Uh, let's see if that works. It's not working. We overdo it so we can see when it starts to work. So let's go back and find out what we need to do more. Because we have the first light wrap layer going into the second light wrap layer. And nothing really happens. It's because we have to put this on the foreground. Do we see something? And we're still, yep, we're still doing that. So nothing is happening. How come could that be? We should at least see something. Oh yeah, because we need to have a background as well. No? Let's see if we put this one in the foreground and we put this in the background. There we go. And now it's the same over here, like so. But the thing is, uh, let's see if it if we turn down the depth. And I, Turn it on. Yeah, it's working. And is this still working? It's not working. That's the problem. Because now we're just bypassing the first one. So we need to add this effect over to this effect. Uh, and that is because uh, we're going to use this alpha, because this one is going into the first light wrapper. But we want to mask her, mask the effect here on her, and use it in our second light wrap, so we can stack them on top of each other. And what we do then is we are going to add an alpha, alpha splitter, and chug that one in there. Uh, and then we have the RGB and we have the alpha. So we want to. Uh, let's see, we're going to use the masker. So we're going to plug the video out from the light wrap into the video. And we're going to take the alpha from, uh, from the billboard. And do like this. And check it out now. Because now we have, an, uh, we have the keyed footage with the first light wrap on it. And then we're going to add the second into the second. 
There we go. So check this out. If we go back to billboard, we turn off our second light wrap and we turn off our first light wrap. So now we have the first light wrap going on. Let's see if we go down to zero. So you can see that we're blending the first light wrap. And you can, of course, use whatever, multiply maybe. So let's, let's do it like this. So this is the first light wrap. And then we have the second life wrap. And we can work those together. So we want to have the depth and we maybe do down the strongness of this one. And we go back to soft light. And we do zero on that. And we do down the depth, maybe we can have. Because in some instances, this is good because then you can do further compositing and tweaking. And I think if, if we change uh, the photo or the background to this one, let's see what happens. Let's see, because uh, then you can influence the keyed footage with the background. Yeah, you can see, you can see like the blue is spilling over to her, which makes, uh, if you tweak it, you can make uh, some really nice uh, uh, comp uh, composition. Uh, like so. And I think this is a really s just giving you an additional tool of, you know, selling the illusion of her standing there. Uh, and I'm using it quite a lot uh, to be able to blend a few things together. This is maybe, of course, too much, but uh, you need to. Uh, so let's see. Let's go for a shot like this and see what what it really does. So if I turn off the light wrap, yeah. So so it's I think it kind of sells this sells sells the illusion a bit more. Uh, and it's not that uh, GPU heavy either. Uh, and we turn off the soft light. So it's just good to be able to use two light wraps at the same time. Yeah, uh, let, let's see if we can do something more about it. Uh, yeah, and as I told you, uh, if you are using, this won't work, look what happens when I turn allow virtuals on. So it's it disappears, but what you need to do then is you just do exactly what I did uh, on, uh, on the light wrap layer. You need to do on the light wrap post. Because this is going into, it's using, oops, it's using this one instead. So then you need to do exactly the same thing, but here instead. Well, another tool in the belt for you uh, to be able to do better composition and, uh, you know, sell the effect better and be a better virtual production producer. Over and out. Be sure to like and comment.